I've been an avid music fan my entire life, um, collector, whatever you want to call it, and I used to work for Musicland. I ran a on cue slash Sam Goody store for 11 years. Um, so I did the corporate music thing. I, I left Musicland when they went under, so I ended up working for Staples. Kind of decided that just, you know, my heart wasn't in it. I kind of wanted to follow this dream. I mean, I went in, I didn't borrow any money. I went into this, like, I awesome. out my 401k yeah. when I left Staples. And, like, used a lot of that to kind of start it. And I just, it was, it's truly a labor of love. You know, I really, I, my favorite line to tell people is it makes me happy, it doesn't make me rich. You, you know, go. and, like, I just, I, I'm kind of amazed that, you know, we're not fit here, you know, I think it's pretty awesome. It does I'm here every day and it doesn't feel like I've been here that long, which I guess is saying something, you know, alone. Worcester is like kind of known for its cool little downtown area. There's a lot of unique shops downtown. Uh, one thing we're known for is the Rubbermaid store, which is directly across the street. We have the City Square Steakhouse, which is also, it was named one of the 100 best steakhouses in the country, so. Most shop owners have their own music collection. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit about your collection and what kind of music you like to curate for it? Like, what are some of your uh, gems that you might have in your collection that you've obtained over the years? Um, well, I, I'm kind of all over the place. I, I guess primarily I'm like an early alternative. I'm a huge YouTube fan, um, The Cure, New Order, that kind of stuff. I'm also a huge Van Morrison fan. I actually have the entire Van Morrison catalog on vinyl, all of them that are available, that is. Some of the gems in my collection, um, the replacements, are, they're one of my favorite bands, and I got one of the, uh, the signed, n numbered uh, versions of Songs for Slim that they did the eBay auction for a few years ago. Um, they only made 250 of them, and so I was able to get one of those, and the, all the proceeds went to Slim Dunlap. It's just a good day when you know people are in here, we're talking music, people are finding records that they want, people are buying the new releases, asking me what I think of the new releases, asking me what I'm into, that kind of stuff. Any day like that is always a good day. I love those days. I think that hunger for something different, you know, never knowing what they're going to find when they walk in the door, um, also that just hunger for the new stuff that comes out. So I think that just they're driven by always, you know, kind of like a lot of us record collectors are, you know, what's still out there that I haven't found. You know, I definitely have a passion for this. It's, it's, it's what I like to do. You know, I can talk music all day long. You know, I can talk about U2, I can talk about Metallica, I can talk about Willie Nelson, I can talk about Van Morrison, <laughs> you know, I can, yeah. I can, I can have, and I can be just as passionate about any of them, you know. People like what they like, I like what I like, you know, it, it's fun. You know, I like seeing what people listen to, what they, you know, what they get passionate about, you know, sharing the passion about it is, is a big kick for me, you know, just getting into the conversation. Like if you took my dad, who's like 72 years old, and said, hey dad, listen to this, this cassette. And on one side I had Nickelback, and on one side I had the Foo Fighters. My dad might not have an easy time telling who was who. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yet one is like the elder statesman of rock, and the other one's the laughing stock. Interesting. Of rock. You know how you go through the record fair, people have stuff overpriced and underpriced, mm -hmm. and I'm looking through CDs, dollar, dollar, two dollars, and I had a Nickelback CD in there, it was $25. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looked at